Hey guys, so I just picked up this charge controller for my Goal Zero Yeti 1400. It's Goal Zero's MPPT charge controller. And in a nutshell, what it does is it's supposed to increase the charging efficiency. Uh, they say up to 40%. The really cool thing is it has uh, two 8mm input ports for their Goal Zero solar panels. And then an Anderson power pole connector for other solar panels. Now each of these ports, they say, can take up to 150 watts, not to exceed 22 volts. Goal Zero says at the max input, this can charge the Goal Zero 1,405 hours. And we're gonna install it and see if it uh, improves the solar charging capabilities of this little uh, solar generator. Well, in the box you get the actual unit, a couple screws, and a user guide. Okay. So the unit's gonna install on this side. The only thing you should need for this install is a standard Phillips head screwdriver. Well, the, probably with a smaller head because the screws are pretty small. There's six screws in here, two down here, and four up here. Take those out, and then the new unit should just slip right in. Once these screws are out, this thing should just slide right on out. All right, now that that plate's out, there's a positive and negative symbol here. Well, that'll correlate with these two wires. The red will be positive, the black will be negative. And then this right here is your data transfer cable. And that goes in right there. Alright, well once that's all installed, all you have to do next is install the four screws and you're good to go. Okay, so right now I've got it plugged into the uh, standard input that comes pre-installed on the Goal Zero. And this is the PWM charge controller. And as you can see, we're getting 45 watts input. Now, it's 5.45 in the afternoon, so I'm sure we're not getting the best sun, but that's what we have right now on the PWM charge controller. So if we unplug this and move this over to The new charge controller okay so there's 50 to 51 watts fluctuating of input now so it definitely is an improvement so that's what about a 10 percent improvement over the other one the website goal zero's website i think says something like 40 percent improvement now i'm sure that's in optimal conditions and all that kind of stuff but this does go go to show that this charge controller is doing its job and it is doing a better job. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to test was to see if charging it from the wall, if it'd get any more efficient doing it that way. So right now I've got it plugged into the built-in port and we're getting 66 watts. And now if I plug it into these ports, Okay, and now it's dancing anywhere from 72 to 82 watts. Uh, I'm not sure why it's jumping all over the place, but it does look like it's improving the charging efficiency from the wall as well. So overall, I'm happy with this product. It obviously increases efficiency as Goal Zero promised, and I'm very happy with it. Hope you found this video somewhat useful, and thanks for watching.